Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. So there are reports out that our brother, the famed Dallas rapper, Yellow Beezy, has been shot eight times. And according to reports, no motivation for the shooting has been given. And per the report, uh, Yellow Beezy representative said thank you to all the fans who have sent prayers and condolences on behalf of Yellow Beezy. He is currently in stable condition and will make a speedy recovery. We appreciate your continued support and ask that you keep him in your prayers and respect his family's privacy at this time. And while traveling... Beezy was fired upon at least a dozen times on Sam Rayborn's hallway, according to published reports. He was found wounded about 3.30 in the morning by authorities. No suspects have been identified. So, if you know Yellow Beezy, he's the one that came out with the song. The trailblazing song out of Dallas, it's on me, baby. And, you know, to be honest, I haven't seen an artist from Dallas get this much national and international attention, especially in such a short time frame. But let us all keep our brother in prayers. We don't know what's going on, you know, according to reports. Um, we don't know if it was a black on black crime. We don't know. It could have been, you know, some government agents or something, you know, who. I mean, anytime my young brothers get money, you know, they don't want us to have that money. So we don't know who it was. You know what I'm saying? And it happened at 3.30 in the morning. Um, so who who knows, you know? Uh, But I just say this family that each one of you are special and and that just shows that our creator has great, great purpose for Yellow Beezy because our brother is still here. Somebody tried to take our brother's life, man. Somebody's intention was to take our brother's life eight times. Shot eight times, family. But he's still here by the grace of our creator what a mighty god we serve man Mm. so that shows that he has great work for bz man he's already using him in a great way but he wants to use him in a greater way because whenever god takes you through something like this a lot of times it's 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 a hint and a sign that God wants to slow us down so he can catch us back up on certain areas of our life, family. Hear me out well. We can't have a testimony without a test and you can't be relatable unless you have been through something. See, this is just another degree of experience added it's like an extra recipe added to the dish of yellow peasy to just spice him up that much more to be a greater vessel and tool in the hands of our creator's toolbox huh so when our creator allows us in our journey to go through certain things it's so he can use us family Because there's so many of our people that's going through the same thing. Right? So, I want each one of y'all to know you're special. I want each one of y'all to know that you are a God and female God. God only means force and power. Meaning you have the force and the power within yourself to change your reality. Anything we desire, we can do it. We just got to get the knowledge, the resources, and make it manifest. Don't think little of yourself because the creator who created you did not think little of yourself. In fact, he had a grand 
divine purpose for your creation. That's why he allowed the attraction and the appeal of your mother and father to conglomerate, to come together, to unify, so that they could create the great byproduct of you. Huh? So we have to search, family, for our purpose in life. And when we find our purpose, when we find what gives us joy and what we can do easily as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches us, then that's most likely your purpose. Beezy is not the only one with greatness. We all have greatness. Beezy is only reflecting the greatness of God in himself. Right? And like he said in the song that I love, it's on me, baby. It's on us at the end of the day. If our family life is not what it should be, it's on me, baby. If our individual life is not what it should be, it's on me, baby. If our community life is not what it should be, it's on me, baby. We have to be the change that we want in our life. We have to stop blaming people. Yes, mom might not have been there. Father might not have been there. But God, our creator, has always been there with you. And he built you up to go through whatever you're going through in your life. And to overcome it by his grace. The whole world can be against you. But if you got the creator in you, you can overcome the world. You can overcome the circumstances and situations in your life. So this is just a circumstance and situation that our creator is bringing our brother Yellow Beezy through so that he can overcome it and come out of it with greater strength, greater, fortifi- greater uh, fortification. This is how he tries us and builds great men and women of character. You don't know to what degree the greatness of your product unless you put that product through test. Huh? Unless you put that product through trials to see the errors, to see if this degree of strain or pressure is put on it, how does it react? Mm, come on now. How do we react when we in a situation like Beezy's in? Somebody has shot us. What's our mindset? What's our disposition? We don't know unless we're truly faced with it. But we always should just be thankful, man. No matter what we're going through in life. Because the greater we go down into the depths of society, that's the higher we can springboard up that much higher. That's the that's to that degree you can be that greater of a servant to our people. We need each other, brothers and sisters. Let us never envy each other or be jealous of each other or hate on each other for the greatness that's in each other. We all have greatness in us. And if we learn how to respect and honor and treasure in each other's greatness, then that will leave space and room. For us to be able to tap into our own gift skills and talent, right? Because you're not using that extra negative energy to hate on your brother or sister. That's, 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 That's juice that can be used for something else, right? We all got juice. We all got the sauce. We all, we are the clout. Hell, God don't make nothing that's not worthy of uh, what's in his earth, the resources that's in his earth. You want a big house? You can get you a big house. Work for it. You want a nice car? You can get you a nice car. Work for it. But you know what? You're the best. You deserve the best because you come from a mighty God. So don't settle for less and don't downplay your greatness for anybody. Be yourself. Be original. Don't try to fit in. You create the climate. You create the environment wherever you go. Make others adapt to you. But make sure that they are adapting to you on the basis or the principles of doing unto others that you would like doing unto yourself. If you don't like nobody disrespecting your mother, your sister, your brother, why would you disrespect somebody else? Mother, sister, brother, their family. That's how we create a change in our reality is by 
acts of kindness, acts of principles, acts of integrity, morality to each other. When we when we see each other as God and female God, how could we ever harm God? We lie when we say we love God, but we don't love our brothers and sisters we see every day. That's a lie. Because you can't love the God who created them and say you love the God. Right? He That's how he tries us. Okay, you, you say you love me? Do good to your brother or sister that's standing right next door to you in the hood. Right? So, man, family, let's keep Yellow Beezy in prayer. Um, I, I, I love the young brother's uh, music. He's fresh. I love his vibe. I love his energy. Um, I love what he's doing for the city. We have to begin to applaud and commend and salute one another and uplift one another instead of all this hating and hatred that's overflowing on the internet you know what i'm saying like we are holy like we perfect like we ain't got no flaws like we ain't got no mistakes come on man we all gotta get out we we gotta we gotta stop it (laughs) we gotta stop it family but um this your brother monroe jr let's keep busy in our prayers i'm signing off peace